Hi, old man Mick here. Uh, today I'm going to do a user's review on the Waco Nano Espresso Manual Coffee Pump. It's a little machine that uh, you pour your coffee grinds into, you pour some hot water into it and then you manually pump it with your hands. And it turns out a pretty decent espresso. I've been using it twice a day, every day for the last eight months. So that's why I'm calling it a user's review, because I feel that I've got to know it pretty well and uh, I've learned a few things along the way. So if you're thinking of getting something like this, they're ideal for camping. And in this situation, I've just been using it as my main coffee maker on a daily basis. I've stopped using my Sunbeam uh, Caf Master the automatic coffee machine, which I used to use in manual mode anyway, but... Uh, that was starting to get corrosion issues and the taste of the coffee was really deteriorating so uh, this started off as just for going away uh, we go away on sailing weekends and we went away for two weeks to New Zealand and I took it with me on that trip and was so impressed I've just used it ever since so let's have a look at the Waco Nano Espresso okay so I got this as a Christmas present uh, it comes in very compact size, a rugged case, no fuss opening, uh, it's nicely lined. We have several parts to it, so we'll start off with the cup that comes with it. I recommend that you don't use the cup that comes with it unless you really need to. That just clips back on there. I uh, use little coffee mug. Now the bottom part screws off and inside there is a little coffee scoop. Now this is used for getting your correct amount of coffee and I would highly recommend using this when you first use the device. Uh, next along the line we have this little release button here. Now this is the pump switch and this gets pushed in and out to actually create the pressure that will eventually pump the coffee into your coffee cup. So when you first use it, it is quite difficult, but you do build up a little bit of strength after a few weeks. So you don't notice it after a few weeks. Well, probably after about two weeks. But to start off with, it can be a little bit of a struggle. But obviously, if you love your coffee and you're out in the middle of the bush, you're going to suffer that tiny little bit of sacrifice to get a decent coffee. So we open it up, it has a little filter, a, a little rubber grommet inside, uh, then a basket to put the coffee in. So basically your little scoop gets filled up to the brim, it gets poured into there like so, then turned around and tapped in. So that's the basic principles. Your basket goes back into the main carriage and then this top filter is a very fine stainless steel, really good quality with a rubber o-ring around it, a nice coarse thread for screwing on quickly. That screws back on. You fill the base up with hot water. You can see there's a line just in there to where you fill the hot water up to. You screw this back onto there, turn her upside down, put your cup under cup underneath and start pumping to get your espresso. So let's go ahead and get some water, grind some coffee beans and make an espresso. So today I'm going to be using the Lavazza Perfecto Espresso 100% Arabica. Obviously, if you're a coffee drinker, you're always going to have 100% Arabica. It's rated 6, very flavoursome. It's a medium roast. Uh, I like my coffee strong, so I, I prefer the rich, intense flavours to the, the weaker flavours. And even on that strong level, I still like to have a, ve a very strong mix. Now, to grind them, I'm using the Sunbeam Calf Series uh, grinder. I have the setting down very, very low uh, to the second lowest setting on the grinder, which is over here. And 
I'll just be pouring it straight into the basket today even though uh, it's, it comes with this little basket here to, to get your levels right I've used it enough now to be confident enough to pour it straight into the actual coffee receptacle so I guess the first thing we can do is get some fresh coffee beans in here so I don't like to put too many in yeah, nice chocolatey smell to the Lovato with a slightly nutty aroma and the taste is very similar to that. Very chocolatey, very nutty. Now I just put this little container here on top just to keep a little bit of weight on the beans so that they go down into the grinder a lot easier. And I shall go and boil some water and then we'll pour some grinds into the coffee maker. So I've got the coffee basket here. Filled it almost to the top. I just get the tamp and tamp it down just very lightly at this stage. Rock my machine back because it likes to hold a fair bit of coffee in it. And that should be enough now. So I tamp it down all the way. Fair bit of pressure on that. Jiggle it around to get the grinds off the side. Then a nice turn just to get a nice smooth surface on there and make sure there's not too many loose grains to clog up the filters. Now that'll go down there, the tap will go up there and then I'll place the basket straight into the main body of the nano presser. Now the lid can go on and my water is boiled so I'm going to bring this over here bring my water over and I'm going to fill this up to that line. Now if it was a cold day I'd preheat everything, run just water through everything before I put coffee in it. If it's a mild day I'll just run the water through the the coffee mug just to preheat that. But today it's quite warm so I don't need to do any of that. So we have the water now up to the level that's marked on the inside of this uh, water container. We screw that on, we turn it upside down, we move this out of the way and start pressing. So this is the technique that I find is easiest for me. And in a moment you should start to see the coffee coming up to the surface of the cup. And you'll see the crema. It's well formed. And the water, fortunately for me, runs out around about the same time as the coffee cup is filled. Yeah. going to wipe those out. Now it is a little bit messy. You can hold the machine closer to the cup and get less spillage but then it doesn't infuse the coffee as, as good as it does if you hold it closer. Now I don't normally do this but I'm just going to show you the crema. Now that is pretty damn good. I've paid four dollars for espressos and they haven't been half as good as what this is. So, uh, okay, all that's left to do is to wash out the machine, so it's quite simple. Turn on your tap, your hot water jug just needs a quick rinse, then there'll be a little bit of coffee left in there, again, quick rinse, you can wipe it with a cloth or just with your finger, into your coffee rack, the cup comes away. Again, a rinse, and then finally your coffee grind. Now, I'm washing it down the sink today, but you can obviously let that dry out and pour it into your composting, or uh, 
out into your garden. Okay, there you have it. One espresso made without an electric machine. Uh, I guess it wouldn't be a review without a taste test. So, eight out of ten. Yep, it's a good drop. Uh, can highly recommend the Waco Nano Espresso coffee machine. Uh, definitely, if you're camping and you really need your coffee, great kickstart, great crema, great finish, easy to clean, really durable. As I said, I've used it twice a day, every day for the last eight months, and haven't had any problems with it. Okay, 